So Horatio, do you remember what we were talking about earlier? Yeah, yeah, a little trip to um, Chongyang City. The outside on the way to the airport. It's so late, I'm gonna get to sleep. Oh well, give me a sec. I was about to go to sleep when I came across a letter in your Aquarius jacket. I thought that it was a little strange that he would carry it in his pocket rather than in one of his suitcases. It was meant for one of the Hong Kong senators who were on the meet. I took my uncle's letter out and kept the envelope in good condition. Little did I know it was a death sentence. My name was. I don't believe it. I think Claudius is happy. I figured both Rosencrantz and Guildenstern were on a little trip too, and that it would be time for them to have a taste of their own medicine. I then wrote a new letter that would instead have broken crying to the sentenced to death in separately. Hmm. Serve them right. How is the senator supposed to trust a letter though? It's not like you could have forged it, resealed the letter, and put it back in Mr. Cruz's jacket? Come on! I just used a signature on the original letter as a reference. They got what was coming. They were leaning too much anyways. Ah, uh, the situation is getting really out of hand. So you think that's the perfect time to kill him? Claudius? He killed my father, married my mother, and after he killed me? Imagine what else he could do if I let him live any longer. What are you going to do when he finds out about Rosencrantz and Gilmstern? Don't worry about that. I have time. I still worry about what happened with the realities. We're in very similar boats. Why are you worrying about him right now? I thought you didn't invite anyone else. I didn't. Ni hao, sir, and let's sir. Welcome back from Chongying City. Sissy. What was that? Polonius, version 2. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that is. Yeah, yeah, we're funny. <sighs> Sir, I messaged in the dawn. Sir? Why well, don't you just call me? I'm not sure myself, I'm just following orders, sir. For me, it must be important. Just leave your shoes anywhere. Yes, sir. You don't have to keep calling me, sir. Sorry, sir. That's just the way I was asked to refer to you. What's up? 
Yes, Master Hamlet. Take a seat. Thank you. Master Hamlet, the son of Pornis has returned back to Shu Long from his studies in Beijing. He was busy studying financial management at the University of International Business and Economics. Apparently, it was one of the highest honors in his class. He even plans on managing our resources once Yeah, more. yeah. I know. He'll probably inherit the company for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that all? Is what all? Laertes? Yes, Laertes. I know you know about his skills. With all due respect, Master Hamlet, I'm sure we both know With that. With all due respect, Osric. What skills are you talking about? Martial arts, Master Hamlet. What's his style? Laertes is quite proficient in the way of the raging dragon. And uh, what does my uncle have anything to do with this? The dawn is bet in your favor that you can defeat Laertes in about twelve. He's already arranged a location for you to just settle this. The condition is that your victory will come through the winning of at least five rounds. What exactly did he bet? The dawn has put up one of your father's many rings. To us it's worth approximately 1.5 million. He has faith in you, Master Hamlet. If you would agree to the terms, I will quickly report back to the dawn. And if I disagree? Then I would need to report your unfortunate decision. I'll tell you what. If he's sincerely up to it, then tell him I'll play along. I'm not worried about whether we will lose anyways. Thank you for your cooperation, Master Hamlet. Just another one of those fraudulent advisors, huh? Seems like those who are not part of the branch family would do anything to have more important positions. That's for you. Ni hao, Hamlet, sir. Yep. Your mother would like to have a word with you later. Mm hmm. And also, your uncle will let you know when you'll be ready for the match. Whatever well, he's fine with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think this is one of your better moves. Thanks for the encouragement. Whether or not this is a good idea, only time will tell. Let's get over with. Hello, my son. How was your trip? It was great. I had so much fun that I almost didn't want to come back. <laughs> good. Very good. I'm glad I had such a fun time. Now that everyone is here, let us begin the event. Hamlet, as you know, this is Laertes. Laertes, Hamlet. Of course, I heard so much about you, Laertes. I hope this fight will show everyone here about the prosperity of our future ones. Come on, let us shake hands. Laertes, you... I will not shake hands with a man who killed my family. Today's duel, I will show everyone here that he does not have what it takes to be the next family head. Laertes, I'm sorry. I... As you should already know, I am mentally unstable. What happened to you and your family is not my fault. In front of everyone here today, I have to apologize to you. So, what happened in the past is in the past. Today, it's all about you and me. Fun.
if that's what you wish for. Excellent. Let the fight begin. I'll be the judge. Helmet, are you ready? Of course. Curtis, are you ready as well? Great, let the fight begin. I start. Weak realities as your pain exceeds your ability. Shut up! That was just a warm up. Now I'm showing my real skill. Good job, Hamlet. I proud to call you my son. Virtue, shall we have a toast for our son? Shall we continue with the fight, Hamlet? This isn't working. We don't kill him now. But how? I feel like I don't want to like to kill him. But take this. You know what to do with it, right? You want me to kill him with this? Did you forget we can start your family? Did you forget how he humiliated corpse your father? Or did you forget how he drove your sister insane to a point where she killed herself? Are you called yourself a man? Yes, sir. You're right. For the honor of my family, Pamela must die. What's wrong, Verities? Have you lost your vote to fight? You want to be me who wins this fight? Ham, you have done unspeakable things to my family. Your menace does not excuse your actions. This is my life. I know you understand. I lost everything. But I at least accept my revenge. Ham, get down!
They are just... You have lost all your honors. Have the... Forgive me. Also, how is his fault? He gave me the gun to kill you. He planned this whole thing out and he wants you dead. Hamlet, it's now your turn. Let go if you don't want to die. Now. Hamlet, run. Go shoot. Let go, you stupid woman. Due to the absence of an alibi, Horatio was given death by lethal injection. No one came to his funeral. Isaac appointed himself as the leader of the mob. He was caught a week later, robbing a fish while stand. After six months, Chulon City's crime rate increased by 60%. It was assumed that the mob was no more. Mr. Dia, we have a letter for you from Claudius. Do you guys know what's in this letter? No. We were told not to read it. 